Today we're going to be talking about Kajali Jal Test software and some of the programs that help support the end user. Starting with the Diesel Laptops dashboard, this will house quick access to all of the programs that may be needed. This gives you options for diagnostic software, troubleshooting information, as well as the ability to contact our technical support departments, which are made up of IT professionals as well as ex-diesel technicians to assist you. Let's look at the diagnostic software to begin. So here on the main screen, you've got options to choose whether it's 9-pin, uh, you've got your 69-pin, you've got your Volvo Mac, uh, OBD2, light and medium duty OBD2, and it'll automatically scan for the systems, or you can actually come in here to the manual side and just pick your manufacturer and choose so. So the easiest thing to do is out here on the automatic scans, just click what connector you're using. It's going to take it a few minutes to find those systems on there. Um, so do be patient at that point because it's trying to scan the entire vehicle. And once it's done so, I'm going to kind of speed this process up because it'll take about 45 seconds. Um, you're going to get a list of all the modules, fault codes associated with it, um, and then some different links in there to click into the code to get more information. Now if you actually double click what it is you're wanting to go in here and look at, it's going to directly connect. You can also use frequent tests. Um, you got some other different options here on the left hand column, but we'll go in, we'll get connected to this thing, show you what it looks like. So you're going to get this menu system here, top left, read and clear your fault codes most importantly. Usually you're connecting the diagnostic tool for a reason. So you go in here, you're going to get your SVNs, your FMI, if it's got an OE code, you're going to get that code with it. Uh, if you click your freeze frame data, or your eye that's actually going to be your freeze frame data. You get options to go in here and look at diagrams and some other things. Uh, if you click that helping components of the fault or the fault code troubleshooting, there is some information built into the tool, but these laptops has their own service information as well. So if you come back out to that desktop launcher, you can start with DTC solutions, which is just going to kind of point you in the right direction. Um, and in here there's several different things built into this as well that we'll go over here in a second. So choose your Detroit, you know, this is a DD13, I believe that was an EPA 10. Yeah, okay, so we'll choose that. And then you're going to get a complete list of all the fault codes. You can search this, you can search by SPN, fault code, description, however you want to do it. Um, and it's going to bring that list up. This is going to give you information on that fault code, some reactions, some probable causes, things like that. This program is meant to get you started in the right direction. Wiring diagrams, as you can see here, you can choose between engine wiring or after treatment, different box types, after treatment control module. We'll go into that so you can see it. Um, up top, you'll get a description of how to read the document, but it's very simple. Component on the left, ACM on the right. So these are very simple to read. Component location, same thing. This is going to open up a page, scroll down, and you get a picture here of where all the components are located. All right, close that. And we'll minimize this. And the next one we're going to talk about here is knowledge base. So this is going to be more of your step-by-step, -step, your in-depth service information located in this one. Choose truck. Choose Detroit. It's a DD13 EPA 10. And you've got options for the component locator, which you saw, torque specs, wiring diagrams, but DTCs is where we want to go. Okay, so we're going to find that fault code again. That was SPN of 100 and an FMI of 17. Oh, went past it. So we'll grab this and open it up really quick and show you guys. Very top of the page here. It's going to look very similar to the information you've seen in DTC Solutions. But down here at the bottom is where we really get into the good stuff. So this is going to be your step by step repair information. You can see here some basic questions up top, and then it comes all the way down here to having you take voltage, things like that. Close that. And we'll get back to the program. We'll back out of here. And again, you have the option to clear faults. You've got system data, which is just going to tell you what it is you're hooked to. Then you're monitoring. So monitoring is going to be any of your live data. 
and this will take just a second you have options to set except for triggers so if you wanted to see a specific parameter whenever it got above a certain range you could set those in there as well otherwise there's just tons of pages of live data here I'm not going to look through all of them um, just wanted to show you how that's represented you do have the ability to look at things in a pictorial view here you see with the system display so it's just going to show some of the systems on the truck and the live data associated with it click accept and then we want to talk about a couple other tabs here actuate components so these are going to be things you can actually actuate back out of there system checks again these are going to be some of your more common tests you can run here once we get into the maintenance tab next that's going to be some of your you know your PRV purging your dozer you do see the option to run the region here but it will let you know you need to be into the powertrain controller to do so so we'll hit cancel back out of here and then lastly calibration so you can come in here and do things like your injector coatings things like that if we disconnect we'll take a look at another system here we'll actually go into we'll do the after treatment controller here So you're going to see basically the exact same setup, but your tests and maintenance tabs are going to give you different options here. All right, go back out, disconnect, and then we'll scroll down. So you see other systems, you see adaptive cruise control, your ABS, uh, body computer, your SAM. We'll actually connect to that, show you some of the tests there. So you'll see actuate components. It's going to allow you to turn, do things like turn on the lights, actuate the door locks, mirror heaters, horns, things like that. Back up. And we'll disconnect again. And again, you see things such as your radar systems and your driver assistance systems all down here as well. This thing will connect with. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go back to our home page from here because we want to talk about some other things the tool can do. We're not going to save that diagnostic report, but this tool does have great uh, reporting options built into it as well. Your ag side, you can see the brands covered here. All of your major ones are in there. Uh, John Deere, Massey Ferguson, Valtra, all the way down the list. If we get into the off-highway side, this is going to have stationary engines and as well as off-highway equipment. Go under off-highway, see all the brands covered here. Um, we'll look at a John Deere for an example today, something pretty common. We'll just use a excavator. We'll do a 160. Again, see your different systems here, your hydraulic body instrument cluster and then the engine itself so we'll connect to the engine and the tool is going to operate the exact same way it did on truck so we're going to have the same type of options here actuate and test system checks it's going to be the rest of our tests or dev tests on our cutouts things like that parameters tab code your injectors code your doc code your dpf and then your maintenance tab you can clear those uh D-rate faults there, you see with after treatment system fault clearing, force regens, reset your ash levels, and in here and calibrate EGR valves. You're looking at the same type of functionality on the off-highway side. One thing we didn't cover with that stationary engine option, so that's going to allow you to connect to things like welders, pumps, compressors, and even if it happens to be a smaller manufacturer that you don't see into the tool, you'll still be able to connect with the engine and diagnose it. So overall, really good coverage with this. Just a general walkthrough to show you guys how this system operates. Thanks for watching.